John here guys and today we're talking about what my setup is for flying out in the field because quite a few of you guys have been asking what's that case that you go to the field with to carry all your gear so if you're one of those jokers that's wondering where does he get those wonderful toys Batman is about to reveal the secret to you the Keter Master Loader, and I'm also gonna show you some bonus tips for other things that I bring to the field to keep myself cool, calm, and collected, and ready to rip. The nice thing about the Keter Master Loader is that you can just pull up the handle and roll this thing wherever you please. That's right, guys. This thing rolls so easily that I can have this entire conversation, do this review while I'm walking and rolling it around. Now, a lot of you guys may be tempted to get something like this giant low pro backpack that is so huge that it makes you look like your kid on the way to kindergarten nap time. Well, I'm not gonna let you go to the FPV spot looking like a little kid with your juice box in here. Get rid of that thing. You can get this on Amazon for about 60 to 70 bucks. And I've been rocking this thing for over two years now. I didn't ever buy it with the intention of doing a review on it, but so many people have asked me about it. Well, it's time to do just that. So exactly how much stuff can this thing hold? You bust open the clasp to reveal enough storage space for quads, bag of batteries, charger, bag of props, one, two, three, more quads, emergency rope should you need it, this DeWalt power tool for taking off props really fast, my portable soldering kit with a TS100 and battery adapter right there, extra batteries, battery pack for being able to charge other little things in the field, lap timer, a glove for setting up gates, two, that's right, two field monitors. I always have a pair of these in case we have some spectators to be able to let people take a look and experience an FPV ride along. Couple of these battery protectors, some extra battery straps should one rip. Then over here, if you go into the sides, I like that this little containers can be taken out. So I have like antenna spares right here. I have my battery checker right here and some other additional extra antennas. I have spare 18650 cells right here and a few more extra antennas. I got electrical tape right here and other miscellaneous pieces. I got an extra crossfire micro antenna right here, some whoop batteries, an SD card adapter, a couple of prop things. And then here's where I have all my tools for fixing it in the field. I got my drivers, I got zip ties, I got an extra prop tool, I got another extra prop tool. Guys, are you seeing a trend here? You don't ever wanna be stuck without an extra prop tool, so I always have three or four of these just in case one gets lost. I got my Speedy B adapter in case I need to do any tuning in the field to be able to hook up to beta flight. I got a random 2S battery that I keep. This can power, this can power your radio in a pinch for about an hour, an hour and a half. So I just keep this with me just in case. Over on the other side, I have a larger compartment. Here's where I keep uh, spare props that I've already started to use. So like this is just a Lucy. Here's where I keep spare carbon for the frame that I race on. These are all spare arms for the open racer. A uh, ND filter for GoPro. Stickers for being able to hand out if I meet people. Emergency whoop if I need it. I got a whole bag of extra braces and spare motors also for racing. I got heads up motors in there and the RCN power. Now what else do I bring with me? The chair that I'm sitting in right now folds up really nicely. It's very comfortable. It has arm rests right here on the side i have various pockets i can keep props snacks water bottle fits nicely right there there's a little space right here that i can fit my bug zapping racket if there's bugs right now there's not 
I have a USB powered fan that I can sit right here for hot days. This also can be powered by 18650 cells. Um, so I have an extra spare goggle battery if I need it in here, or if I run out of power bank, I can power this on its own. So this is a really nice uh, O-Polar fan. I'll leave the link for this in the description below. This is my second one. The first one lasted me about two and a half years, but I use that thing constantly for patio get togethers with family and for FPV flight. It probably saw like a thousand hours or more before the motor ran out. So I bought myself another one because it worked so well. I like that this little fold out chair has a little table right here. This is perfect for setting my fan to blow like directly on my face. And then it also acts like a little shelf to be able to set my radio or my goggles down. The other nice thing you can do with the Keter Master Loader is take off with it with your drone. So what do you think in the comments, guys? Are you still using a knapsack like it's bedtime or are you gonna get something like this? This is what we take in the field whenever I'm gonna go racing. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm racing or going to fly a spot, sometimes I'm driving quite a ways, over an hour, sometimes two hours or more, and I can't risk getting all the way there or breaking something there and having to do that horrible drive of shame. There's nothing quite worse than that, guys. So, what do you think in the comments? What is your solution for carting your stuff around? Are you just throwing it around in a grocery bag? That's not the way, guys. There's a better way, the Keter Master Loader. Thanks, guys.